let me explain what just happened. The visual exercise is once that leash is on that dog, the dog has a responsibility. If you heard my analogy with the police officer in the car, once you get in that car, you have a responsibility. So her responsibility when the, my, I'm holding the leash is she's to keep her eyes on me. You saw uh, there a moment, hi there, that she looked away. As soon as a dog looks away with this exercise, I give a yank and I walk in the opposite direction. I want that dog thinking every time I take my eyes off that person, they leave me. I don't want to be the bad guy. You, look at me. Nobody wants to look at anybody like that. I want her to think she made the mistake. Every time she take her eyes off of me, I go walking away and there's always a little yank to the neck, a um, little discomfort. Uh, we all learn by our mistakes and the more they are, the more painful they are, not that we're looking to cause pain, um, the better we learn. Simple as that. If I make a bet with somebody and I lose five bucks, oh, big deal. If I make a bet and I lose 5,000 bucks, Mm, bigger deal. 50,000. Oh, bigger deal. I'm going to be more cautious. So, um, so with a collar and a leash, and I'll go over what type of equipment I do use. Uh, right now she has a slip ring collar, but I actually like to use what I call a custom made lifestyle obedience collar. It's a little piece of nylon, um, uh, parachute cord, and I just put a square knot in it and that's my leash. That's what I like to use. It's a jerking and a releasing action that I jerk and release on the dog. So again, and then if you noticed what happened once she did get that correction, what did she do? I didn't tell her to do it, but she did it. She sat and she laid down because that's the biggest compliment. I'm with you, Gail. I have no other agenda other than you. So let's see if we can get her to do that again. Now I can tell her to SIT and I can tell her to DOWN. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to take an exercise from her. I'm looking for her to give it to me. The resignation of obedience I'm submitting to your authority is what I'm looking for. When I get that, then those other exercises, the performance side of the uh, obedience, they just fall into place. So here we go again. When I go to move out of her line of vision, that's basically what? Behind her head. And we play this little game. I tell everybody, if you don't get dizzy, you're not doing it right. Look what she said. She says, I'm going to be with you, Gail. I understand. So she puts her fanny to the ground. We're not done with the exercise. Notice my leash is nice and loose, but it's short enough that if I swing my hand, I can get that correction in. She's allowed to get up. I didn't tell her to SIT. What I want her to be doing right now is thinking on me. I should be her top priority. You notice she got up, her little nose was going. She obviously has another agenda. But what's her most important agenda? I'm going to move where she can't see me. She turns. I'm not telling you you can't go sniff. Oh, there we go. She says, I know what I'm supposed to do. Now, folks, don't be fooled. Just because you submitted here does not mean your job is done. If I can get behind your head while you're in this position, you've forgotten what your job is when that leash is in my hand. You need to keep your eyes on me. So I'm going to give a little jerk, and I'm going to walk away. Just because you go to the ground does not mean you're done doing your responsibility keeping that your eyes on me when that leash is in your in my hand is your job at this point point. and I'm gonna wait this is not a trick this is not a SIT give the dog a biscuit because they performed this is a conscious effort of submitting to her responsibility to me I spend more time on these exercises, this one in particular, because the other one, the verbal exercise, goes rather quickly and they learn to retain it pretty good. Once the dog is out um, in an environment like this, they're picking and choosing 
um, their agenda pretty fast. So I spend a lot of time standing. I tell people you're gonna, this is a standing exercise. You're gonna stand for a long time. You're watching that dog to see whether or not her, she's keeping you within her line of vision. I'm not talking eye to eye contact, folks. I'm not talking hold the, the treat and hold it up to your face to get the dog to look at you. That's a trick. I'm not looking for a trick. I'm looking for a relationship. You have a responsibility to me when this leash is in my hand. Now she's gone to the ground again, and I'm very careful with my words because I don't want to give the commanding word for her to go to the ground. I'll show you that later. Now I want to, she's got a little sniffing going on. You can tell she's a little bit on a hound going on here, whether it's beagle or what. I'm going to move behind her head. I'm going to see if she learned her lesson about her going to the ground. That's what I'm looking for. She should get up and follow me. <laughs> yay, yay. And I praise performance. It's not a command here. This is a visual exercise, very much like the dogs following a pack leader. There's no commands. The pack leader gets up and leaves and they all follow him. Good girl. What a good girl, Bounty. Yay. I do want to give her a reason to want to be with me, so the praise and the love and the hugs are wonderful, huh? Yeah, she has, says, oh, that's the kind of Gail I like. I wonder what I got Gail to, how, what I did to get Gail to respond that way. I'm going to pay attention better to move her there. So she's kind of training me and I'm training her. So watch, let's do it again. I'm going to stand. And I'm going to stand behind her head. And she says, no, Gail, you're not getting behind my head. And she says, oh, I'm submitting. I'm submitting even more. Billy, okay. Yay for her. So there's the visual. Once you have your dog on the leash and it stops looking at distractions. Now, how I build this, I take her to more distracting areas. And I keep increasing what the distractions are until I keep getting the same response. And the dog says, I get it not allowed to take my eyes off of you. Can I tell her down? I do like a dog that doesn't respond so you can see what their follow through is. I don't say it again. I correct. She knows what her responsibility is. I hope I'm, I'm getting this on the video. She knows what her responsibility is so I gave her a correction and I would also at that point tell her, no, stop doing what you're doing. The no means stop doing what you're doing. It's that growl. You're crossing my line of tolerance. You didn't lay down when I told you to. Let's do that again. Bailey, okay, come on, down. Yeah, see, she knows it. And if you noticed, I kept moving. I like the dog to he listen to the verbal command and follow through. Okay, Bailey, yay. All right, till next time, God bless.